The painter has started to spray the first coat. Please watch carefully. Coating does not hide the steel plate. General paints cover steel plates with this kind of thickness. 20 to 30 microns dry is enough thickness to cover the substrates. Typical see-through texture. Wet film thickness is 150 microns. Dry film thickness is 120 microns. Additional spraying on top of see-through coating. The painter continues, realizing the exceptional covering properties of Noah. Additional spraying gives semi-see-through texture. Wet film is 250 microns thick. Dry film is 200 microns thick. Compare the texture or gloss of 150 to 250 microns. It still does not hide the steel plate. Texture of 400 microns. Glossy and beautiful, isn't it? After the final spraying, you see how different these three sections are. Now it is covered completely. Look at the far left end. Compare glossy full texture on the left and semi-see-through texture on the right. Full buff achieved. The painter keeps spraying Noah, recognizing its self-indicating property and recognizing its color change. He knows where to spray more and where to stop spraying. Noah's unique SI function tells him this during application. It is how the painting is done correctly by the painter. See-through areas are spotted. Here's a problem. The coating is not yet completed. The painter has noticed two spots that are not yet completely hidden. So he applies a touch-up. Now the painting is completed and a beautiful, glossy, full buff color is achieved. Wet film thickness above 400 microns. Dry film thickness far above 300 microns. This painter has done a good job.